Okay. Oh. That, that's, that's kind of weird. The Apple Vision Pro has been a very long time coming. Let's get to the unboxing. Apple-esque thing here. Oh, wow. That's pretty incredible. Yeah, that's a very nice box. Things on the side here. All right. a solo loop take around 600 grams if i recall all right we're gonna take this thing off oh it's nice it's kind of like what's on the quest pro all righty let's check out what we have here oh nice actually comes with like a guide that's pretty cool it's like a little booklet first new product category in a very long time for apple so so this is the the dual loop band. Uh, USB-C to USB-C. You have a charging brick. 30 watts. Hmm. And here is the infamous battery. This is the polishing cloth. Vision Pro. It's got a very nice feel to it. It's different than what's uh, with the Pro Display XDR. And then the light. Oh, here we go. The light seal cushion. This is the reason you have to get a 3D scan of your face. Use the light seal cushion if prompted by the system or if you need more room for a better fit. All right, oh, that was pretty cool. Yeah, extremely front heavy. I've been waiting so many years for this thing and now it's here. I hope it does what I think it will do, which is show human beings what spatial computing can do. All right, so I guess there's this like thing on the side here where the battery just kind of like locks in okay there we go pretty excited yeah like holy cow we've been waiting so long for this thing press and hold to align okay press and hold i think it's measuring ipd so it said bring iphone or ipad to get started I'll continue setting up on apple vision pro you browse the system by looking and it responds to your eyes you can keep your hands where they're comfortable. Get your hands to set up. Okay. Back in the Oculus days, we were theorizing that like pass through, like video pass through would be the first way to get to AR. Okay, capture how you'll appear in FaceTime and other calls and personalize eyesight. Okay, sure, get started. To set up your persona, you'll remove Apple Vision Pro to capture your appearance. Okay. Take your time getting ready and make sure nothing is covering your face. Okay, so now I have to, this is setting up persona. I don't understand. Persona, how do you set you up? Turn your head to the right. So this is how Apple takes your face and, and stores it in the cloud. Mind showing your teeth? I guess it's better than Zuck having it. Hold the Apple Vision Pro at eye level. Align your entire face within the frame. Keep your face in a neutral expression. Align your entire face within the frame. If you're having trouble, put Vision Pro back on and follow the instructions to continue. Now, slowly turn your head to the left. Then tilt your head down. Next, let's capture your facial expressions. Smile with your mouth closed. Then make a big smile with your teeth showing. Now, raise your eyebrows. Close your eyes for a moment. Capture complete. Okay. Okay. Oh. That, that's, that's kind of weird. I, uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. All right, let's see, studio lighting. You can even select your eyewear in case you wear glasses. <laughs> I don't think I like the eyewear, even though I have this gigantic eyewear on me right now. Look here for optic ID. I guess it takes your retina, it's like a retina scan maybe. I have to type in my Apple ID. You would think that it would just know. 
Typing in VR still sucks. It's so awful. It's supposed to be like way better, but it's not. I mean, it's maybe a little bit better. It's so hard to type on this thing. This typing experience is supposed to be great. But I'm not gonna lie, it kind of sucks. Okay, typing leaves a lot to be desired. Question is, would Steve Jobs have greenlit this product? Possibly, but I think it would probably be different, sorry to say. I mean, it's very impressive. Probably the best VR headset. I mean, not probably, it, it, it is the best VR headset I've ever used, but. Okay, finally, after much effort, we are in Vision Pro. That is uncanny. This reminds me of some of the early quests or even Gear VR apps where you could like watch a big screen. Siri, how do you screen record on Apple Vision Pro? We are now recording. I'm gonna move this over here. All right. Now I'm gonna go into VR, full on VR. Okay. I mean, this does look really great. Okay, Killers of the Flower Moon, the latest Scorsese. Let's see if this works. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. Because of the screen recording, I can't show you all what I'm seeing. Or the movie. But also, <laughs> I can't even see the movie. That's so funny. It just, it won't even let me. I mean, this is an incredible piece of hardware. It's just, I don't know. It's just a little less good than I thought it would be. Sorry to say. But it, I mean, it's still great. Like what a feat of engineering. I don't want to knock it, but Google. Google.com. Okay. There we go. Apple, or Apple Vision Pro. Like, I don't understand that. Why is that? Yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> okay, that's, that's very funny. All right, here we go. What is the point of Apple Vision Pro? Apple Vision Pro seamlessly blends digital content with the physical world and unlocks powerful spatial experiences in Vision OS. Controlled by the most natural and intuitive inputs possible, a user's eyes, hands, and voice. You know what, I might argue with the intuitiveness of the UI. This is undoubtedly really nice though. Okay, finally. I am looking forward to doing this on planes. That's going to be fun. Hey there from Apple Vision Pro. This hmm. kind of works in there, but I guess it has to have good lighting. That's super cool. The first time in Apple Vision Pro, I mean, it is undoubtedly cool. It definitely has a lot of the problems that I thought it might have as somebody who has been in the VR industry for a while. Um, I mean, so much impressive tech in here. You know, it's heavy. We'll, we'll see what prolonged use feels like. I haven't tried the dual loop band yet. I will see the inputs, whether it's eyes and hands or even voice are not as good as I thought it would be, but you know, who can complain? Um, it's a pretty incredible product, and I look forward to bringing some more insights in the days and weeks, and most importantly, months and years to come. Gen 1 product, first one that Apple has had in a while, and uh, yeah, pleased to say, I mean, it's definitely very intriguing.